that your dad Kaylin gave to me on my way in. He said, as the warden, I must use this. What is this? A dustpan. A dustpan? Yeah. What do you do with this? Clean. Clean? Yeah. How? Because I don't know how. You think you can show me? How do you do it? Awesome. Can you start to clean the church? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like if there's like some dust or some crumbs over here, you just like... Oh, so that's how you use that. You sweep up the dirt. Oh, do you like cleaning? No. <laughs> None of you like cleaning, so your parents say, clean up your rooms. How many of you like to do that? No. Pick up your toys, clean up your toys. No? Sometimes it's a lot of work. You don't like doing it. How many of you like making mess? <laughs> you like making mess, but you don't like cleaning it up. Well, guess what? In the gospel story today, there were some people who made a mess in the temple. And Jesus, our Lord and Savior, got upset. See, they were in the church and they were robbing people. They were stealing from the people who came to worship. Do you think that's right? Is stealing wrong? Absolutely. Should you take things that do not belong to you? No, very good. But that's what they were doing. And then they were charging the people more than they should have for the goods they were selling. Should you overcharge people? That's wrong, right? And so Jesus got upset. You know what he did? What do you think he did when he got upset? He made them get out of the temple. When you get upset, what do you do? Have you ever been upset before? What upset you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got upset because you wanted to sleep and your little brother wouldn't leave you alone. Okay, yeah, we get upset over things, but Jesus got upset and he made them get out of the temple. And he kind of used the whip and he spiked them with it and he took the uh, tables, he overturned them, and he said, take these things out of here. Could you say that for me? Take these things out of here. And he wanted to clean the temple. But you know what? Jesus also wants to clean our temple. Because we are the body of the Lord. Our bodies is a temple for Jesus. And he wants to clean our temples. Now, in your house, when do you know it's time to clean? How do you know it's time to clean? <coughs> when your mom tells you to? When it's messy? Yeah, when you see dirt on the ground? When you see paper all over the place? When your bed is all rumpled up and toys are everywhere, do you think that's an indication? Do you think that's time for you to clean? Yeah, yeah. And so, how do we know in our own lives when it's time to clean? <coughs> yeah, you want to say? Sometimes when... When you make a mess and you don't know what to do, that is so smart, yes. Because sometimes we make mistakes. How many of you ever made a mistake before that you weren't too proud of? Yeah, yeah. And so we ask for forgiveness and God wants to give us that forgiveness. He wants to clean our hearts. And so I want you to tell me whether or not you should take these things out or leave them in. So if I say something that's wrong, you're gonna say, take these things out of here. Say that for me. Okay, so if you are being mean to somebody, what should you do? <laughs> uh huh. Is that something that would stay in your life? What would, what would you say? Take, take these things out of here, right. If you are, maybe taking something that you shouldn't, even though your parents told you not to touch it, 
but you touch it anyway. Is that something you want to keep doing? No, right? And so you would say, take these things out of here, right? What else that you would like Jesus to take out of your life? That should not be there. Yes? Math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I should not have asked that question so broadly. <laughs> Mathematics, yeah. I'd like him to take statistics out of my life too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything that we do that we shouldn't do? What about not listening? How many of you always listen to your parents? None of you, right? Pretty much always, but not all the time. So when you don't listen and when you're disobedient, is that something that needs to get out of our lives? Yeah, because we want to be obedient. How about rudeness? Is that something we should take out of our lives or leave it? Take it out, right? We should sweep it away, right? Sweep it out of our lives. What about kindness? Should we keep that? What about love? What about friendliness? What about manners? What about prayers? What about worship? What about coming to church? Yeah. What about Father Mario? Keep it? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. And so, remember, what are some of the things we're going to ask God to take out of our lives? Tell me. Name one. Rudeness, yes. Anything else? Being mean, yeah. And what are some of the things we're going to keep in our lives? We're going to ask him to keep. Kindness, love, yeah. And so are you going to do these things? You're going to allow him to clean your hearts and take the things out that should not be there? When you said play, I was about to say no. I was about to say no. But you said yes? I was confused for a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me. All right. And so, let's tell the congregation what we learned. Can you do that? Stand up for me. Turn around. If there is anything, there is anything in, our lives in our lives that does not Please, God, we should take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Say it. I can't hear you. Shout it. Take them out. Take them out. Yes. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Okay. <laughs>